we're making our way to uh, Diamond City right about now, and these are like the security officers. So I guess we'll just follow these signs like they said. I decided to make my way to Diamond City because for the time being I can't really do much of the side missions being such a low level and you know running low on supplies and whatnot. I want to be well prepared for some of these side missions such such as things as uh, Trinity Tower and etc. You know what I'm trying to say. So we decided to head to Diamond City as it is part of the main story and um, we'll see what's really you know, up for us. What's this over here? Fence, street, sewer. Oh, we can go into the sewer? Nice. Well, I'm not going into the sewer. Fuck off. Diamond City. Um, this way. Oh, here we go. Through this door, I believe. Ooh, what the fuck? What do you mean you can't open the gate? Stop playing around, Danny. I'm standing out in the open here for crying out loud. I got orders not to let you in, Miss Piper. I'm sorry. I'm just doing my job. Ooh, they don't want to let Piper in? Job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out, is that it? <laughs> oh, look, it's the scary reporter. I'll speak to her. Uh, I know she's part of the main story. Steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. You open this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. <sighs> open up. You done arguing with Danny? You want into Diamond City, right? Oh, now you're talking to us. I just got here, but yeah. What? What's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy. You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month. <laughs> she wants us to follow with these bullshit lies. <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to crazy Myrna about losing out on all? She's the really winging it right about now. I need to make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. Her name is Piper, and then there's Danny Sullivan. I believe these are two characters that uh, are part of the main story. Look at, look at Riley. Uh, look at the doggy dog. Just watching. It. Look at, look at the dog. That's right. That's right. Let's go. Sounds good. Let's go. Another great day in Diamond City. I don't really know who you are, Piper. You're pretty good looking. You can get this penis. I'm gonna let you know you can get the penis. I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious rabble rabble. Oh my son. gosh. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that printer scrap for. No, I mean, might as well talk to him. They're important people since they're part of Diamond City. He's the mayor. Might as well talk to him. Down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. Are you look. Always believed uh, in freedom of the press. I mean, oh, I, I really don't know what to. You into this argument, good sir. No, no, no. I, I, I don't know what to say here because I'm like in the middle of an argument. I don't know what the fuck it's about. The great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money. Settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise. All right. Too, yeah, like, are you too anyway? arguing? Like, what are you arguing about, bro? What do you think? Print lies and everybody's happy. But if you print the truth, <laughs> <laughs> now, was there anything particular you came to our city for? What is uh, this place anyway? Why? This is the safest place in all the common Uh, the fucking, um, I hate when the subtitles do this. They're stuck in place, so I can't, I don't know what they're really saying. Yeah, so he's telling us the good stuff about Diamond City. I really hate when this game's dialogues and, and the subtitles stuck and they don't move. So it just, it's like this, the same person's been talking the whole time. Just looking for something. Oh, um, what is it you're looking for? Let's my see, son. my son. Sean. Oh, now it changed. For fuck's sake! Less than a year old. Wait, your son's missing. And it went back. Oh my God! You hear that, McDonough? 
what's Diamond City oh, here we go. doing to help this man, huh? This isn't the first missing persons report to come through here, and now we have an infant who's been taken? No, don't listen to her. Well, I'm afraid that our security team can't follow every case that comes through. I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. Yeah, I hope so. Uh, sure. And a mayor of a great city must know everyone. Who can help me? Well, uh, there is uh, one private citizen, Nick Valentine, a detective of sorts who specializes. Okay, in we're gonna have to find Nick Valentine, obviously. Uh, hopefully, he gets a marker on the map. Have to get going. I'm sorry, Diamond City Security doesn't have time to help, but I'm sure Mr. Valentine. Yeah, we have to pay this man. You know, knowing this game and his this bottle cap stuff. Diamond City Security but can't spare one officer to help. Well, we'll find a way to get him to help us. Of course, you know we're big balling out here in some kind of way. He'll help us, motherfucker. Better help us. I'll punch him in the fucking face. you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. So can I like get with Piper? You know she's pretty good looking. Why don't you stop by my office after you see Valentine? Oh, you find your next story? Is my, is your next story my dick in your mouth? <laughs> oh, Danny Sullivan, this is the guy. So, you're that traitor Piper was talking about. Something tells me she's pulled the wool over my eyes again. Am I right? Uh, I didn't mean yeah. to lie, officer. It all just happened so fast. Uh, you're not the first guy Piper pulled into a heap of trouble he wasn't ready for. Thanks for being honest. If you're welcome, sir. We would have just let the both of you in. But the mayor's calling the shots, and... Well, you saw how mad he is. Anyway, welcome to Diamond City and all that. I gotta, get back gotta get back to work, huh? You got, you got some good armor there. Danny Sullivan. This is a security offer I, I don't really want to talk to. Let's make our way inside to Diamond City! Well, while I was busy doing a bunch of side missions over and over and over again, and encountering side missions I can't even do myself because I'm not high enough level, I don't have the specific perk for certain side missions, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I might as well just continue with the main story and go on to Diamond City. I can't save the Super Mutant in Tyrant Tower because I in Trinity Tower because I don't have the pickpocketing perk to free him. I also have a bunch of other side missions I haven't done and I can't do because one low on um supplies, um ammo and armor, and I need uh, more fusion co cell thingies for my uh my power armor and from there I also need to be a higher level so I I'll be going back to those eventually but right now we're gonna continue on with the main story as I've been ignoring for quite some time now and here is Diamond City how are the paper sales well the presses are getting overloaded that motor is going to go soon she has a youngin working for her selling fucking papers and shit and the old girl still keeps cranking stop worrying so much I gotta head into the office. You start whistling if you see any angry politicians coming. But like Piper, can you like come my way or something? Piper. <sighs> I like how she just ignored my shit like I wasn't important. Free paper to newcomers. If the institute grabs you in the night, at least we warned you. Thanks. I guess. I'm serious. The institute takes people. You should read up if you're sticking around. The Institute takes people. I believe you. You know, isn't uh, that'd be the same people? Real lost lamb in the wolf's den, Mister. I feel like, um, when we talk about the Institute, the Institute is the same people that took our son. There's a chapel here. Yeah, I'm not going in there. Not right now, at least. Oh look, you what's this? Do you have a legitimate medical concern? Is this about a facial reconstruction? Facial reconstructive services? What's this? What's that? Uh, it's Doc Crocker's specialty. Is this fucking surgery? They're trying to change my face? With our logo on it. No, if you have an actual medical problem, speak up. 
Okay, I see Dr. Doc Crocker about facial reconstruction. We'll see. Then. So what well, what you got? Treatment the options. The tell me. Tell me. wounds and cleaning radiation exposure are the most common things you outsiders usually ask for. That and kicking a chem habit. Oh, you want to talk shit to me? Yeah. Well, yeah. I, I, no. I could use the side. radiation stuff. One at a time. I need rad away, actually. Cure rads, 40 caps, cure health, 15 caps. Feeling cure sick. rad. All right. Let's flush your system. Uh, well, finally, for some fucking reason, I've always been filled with a bunch of fucking radiation, and uh, I, I, you know, I never had right away really. That was it. Off you go then. To get to get rid of to use to get rid of my fucking radiation stuff, but uh, now that we have Diamond City, we can do so. Let's see what else we have here. I'm not trying to steal because if I get fucking killed here, I'll be mad. I actually did it, I believe I did it in fucking 3, in the city in 3, I think it was Megatron, and I got fucking killed. They beat the fuck out of me. You? I don't know you. Just keep your distance. Fuck you, bitch. Radex. Cigar box. Marina says I'm not going in there. I don't even know her. Hey, you're the new guy, right? Arturo. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I guess. Well, it's good to have you here. This guy's a fucking... He's basically Spanish. He's one of those guys you see with the guitar. He taps in. He makes a little beat. And he starts singing. That That's what he reminds me of. So you know weapons, huh? Listen. Oh, he got weapons? Of course. There has to be a Spanish guy with the weapons. Racist. Racist. Spanish guy with the weapons, obviously. Of course. Of course. The little personal touches. Guns. Swords. Boy. Whatever. You spend time with your gear. And you'll have the right answer to every problem. Anyway, yeah, that's pretty true. You and what kind of protection you need. Let's see what you got. Yeah, let's see. Let, let's see what he got. Before we really spend anything, you know, we got 1,177 caps. All right, he has um. Oh, he has fusion cores. How much are they? 580, boy. I believe, I don't know if that's actually how much they cost. A big boy, we have the big boy. Um, I mean, really, we have everything. Not everything, but you know, we have a lot of stuff. A missile launcher, I don't even have the space to get a carrier missile launcher, to be very honest with you. Um, he's got a lot of stuff, and he has a uh, fusion, uh, fusion cores. Which we could use, and fu I believe these are fusion cells to 487 cal. Are you out of your fucking mind? I'll buy three of them. Um, ammo, we should really buy ammo. Uh, this is for the Magnum, this is for... Let's buy four of these. Um... Um, all right, we'll go with that, really. All right, let's get out of here. I'm really just speaking to everybody because, you know. A swatter? Swatter, my friend, is it Diamond City? Is, is he trying to sell me a fucking bat? It used to be that this whole place... One team would beat the other team. He definitely yeah, is trying to sell me a baseball bat. Baseball bats and, and the best bats were called swatters. True fact. Look, that, Dennis, that's not how baseball was played. That right, Mr. Smarty Pants? Yeah, if you're such an expert, how do you think it was played? There were balls, strikes, three bases, and home runs. You kept score by how many runners made it to home plate. We just schooled the fuck out of him <laughs> about baseball. He just gave us the, the stupidest description of baseball I've ever heard that he thinks. So we had to school the motherfucker, you know? We we come from these streets. Let's see what you have. Uh huh. All right, so so, and then with a little more stopping power. Apparently, he offers. He, he can give jobs. If that's the option. Looking for work. Let's see what. Well, if you wanna help the sport, I gotta leave. On a stash of pre-war collector's items. Coach, 
quitting is for punks west yeah i know it you know some of these characters you meet you'll just ask them for work and they'll give you it we'll rack up on some quest side quest in this city because it only makes sense to get stuff from the city probably gives you more xp you know the rewards are better and whatnot so there's that hopefully we don't fucking die and all that but you know i'll pay 100 caps 100 caps for each of those relics that's not bad actually a card and okay. the ball got it i thank you and baseball thanks you that's not bad actually we find a ball a mitt blah 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 Check Who's this? Need a drink. New Coca Cola. Uh, I have go. one. Ah, <gasps> oh, thank you, thank you. I don't know if that was a good thing, but you know, I have a couple. I have a couple new colas, so I'm actually good. At, I'm. I, I think I'm fine on that, really. But you never know. I don't know if that was actually a good thing. Oh, look. It's his fucking agency. Nick Valentine. Sounds like a fucking superhero. But then it also sounds like somebody from, like, the 1950s who was fucking a detective and wasn't very good at being a detective. But, you know, road to freedom. Okay. Something uh, Another stray Ellie Perkins. Afraid you're too late. Office is closed. Wait, who are you? Who are you? You the detective? Me? No, I'm Nick's secretary. Handle his appointments, his papers, that sort of thing. Well, that's what I used to do anyway, but now Nick's disappeared and I can't keep a detective. So the detective disappears. Detective. Where the fuck does the detective disappear to? Don't worry. I'll, I'll offer some help because we need him, first of all. Because I want to fucking find my son, damn it. was working a case. Skinny Malone's gang had kidnapped a young woman. And he tracked them down to their hideout in Park Street Station. There's an old vault down there that they use as a base. I told Nick he was walking into a trap, but he just smiled. An old vault down there that they use as a base. And he walked over there like he was big shit. Thinking he was going to go in there fucking alive and whatnot. And it, it didn't work, obviously, of course. He's from Good Neighbor, and that means he's in the well-pressed suits and machine gun school of thuggery. You said Malone's from Good Neighbor? Yeah, it's a tough neighborhood. Northeast of ways. People with power there... <laughs> it's the fucking ghetto where things. people fight. Style and yeah, see? People fight and kill. Shwa pang pang hey, pang. I'd love to help. But <laughs> <Don't>... <laughs> she didn't give me money. <laughs> Trying to ask her for money, she didn't give me money. Fuck. <laughs> wearing that old hat and trench coat get up. Please. Old hat and trench coat get up. Okay. He looks like the typical detective then, is what she's basically trying to tell me. Alright, let's go back to Diamond City then. We basically looked for him, he's fucking gone, he's, he went to an old vault to find some old, some guys that kidnapped a woman, thinking that he was good shit, and it didn't turn out to be the, what he expected. Road to freedom. Follow the freedom trail. I don't know what that means. Uh, there's that. Um, we gotta find a signed. Ba He's basically a collector of baseball stuff, so he wants us to find the signed baseball cards. Like, you know, if this was the day and age, you'd just go to the fucking store and buy one of those. Uh, a catcher's mitt. I don't know why there would be a random catcher's mitt just laying in the Fallout world and a signed baseball. Well, that stuff could wait. We're going to go to Piper's office because I kind of want to know if I can get up in her fucking pants. I want to give her the penis. And if I can give her the penis, I'm going to give her the fucking penis. You're damn right I'm going to give her the penis. All right, let's find Piper's office. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Where? You at? Where oh, here we go. And she's here screaming. She's not a Sith. Well, we know because we fought them. Killed them. But you know, let, let's find out what she's screaming about, you know. What? Oh, what the fuck, you creepy mother. Piper. Holding up, Blue? Yes. Holding up. Look, I'm just gonna say it. You're a vault dweller. A jumpsuit's a dead giveaway. So here's the uh, deal. Obviously, I haven't taken it off. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what, I'll come with you. Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. 
she comes with me, that means I can get up in them pants, in them cheeks. I can get up in them cheeks. <laughs> so I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? We were frozen, baby. I didn't spend much time in the vault. Wait, <laughs> they boxed you up in a fridge the whole time? Are you saying you were alive? Before the war? Yo, she's really good looking. I damn right was alive before the war. Um, I forgot his name. The guy from the Minutemen. The guy from the Minutemen told us about the war. We asked him about it. And he told us that the war broke out after you know they exploded the nukes and all that went off in Boston and you know, you know, you know what I'm trying to say. He told us about the war. So we know slightly bits about the war. So we were alive before the war. They froze us and then we came back after the war ended. Quoting that. Now I already know you're looking for your son, Sean. Do you suspect the Institute was involved in his kidnapping? Man, they might be. Who knows? Not even a baby is safe from them. And people wonder why I can't just look the other way. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City. A statement to Diamond to City directly? Email, but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? Never lose hope. You have to have hope that you'll see them again. Or at least that you'll know the truth. A strong note to end on blue. Thanks. All right, Piper. It's going to take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is going to give Diamond City plenty to talk about. Anyway, I agreed to come with you, right? Watch your back. Just say the word when you're ready. I Piper, I, what I want to know is can I get up in them cheeks, baby girl? Listen, can I get up in them cheeks? Hey, Piper. Heading my way? You sure you want to travel with me? Well, it's that or get back to writing the paper. I guess the paper can wait. Let's trade. This is what I've got. You have shit. So, where right, we spoke to her. Next, I mean, we have a couple of stuff to do. Mainly in, 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 in um, you know, we have to find these, uh, these, 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 uh, Machines that they keep sending us to go find we have to do that we have to clean up certain parts of uh, Certain areas because they're filled with uh, ghouls and whatnot and Then they're searching for the lost for the recon team which I for some reason I can't find them the, And we have to meet the minimum by the castle which I'm probably gonna um, head out to do soon But right now we're gonna have to focus on You know these two. I don't know what the fuck that means follow the freedom trail, but uh, we're gonna switch We're gonna hey, take I Piper with us yeah, sure. let's go. Let's go. Will do. Oh, sorry, boy. Time for you to head. No. Back. Let's see. I'm not sending him to no fucking red rocket truck stop. Um, let's send him to the farm, to the Abernethy farm. Yeah. I'm I'm sending him to a farm mainly because. Hey, boy. He dipped. Motherfucker just walked out hey. the door. Just let me know. Piper. I'm gonna talk to her real quick. I just wanted to check in. Make sure things were alright between us. Well, things aren't bad. <laughs> because believe me, you'd know if they were. But I suppose we could be doing better. Your thoughts? Oh, so I could actually... Okay. Are things all right between us? I suppose things are all right. Just feels like we could be doing more for folks out here, you know? That's all right. All right. All right. So, what we'll do next, we'll do the Find Nick Valentine uh, quest. We'll find the detective and see what he has to say about our son and everything that's happened. And we'll take it one step at a time with each quest. And I'll see you guys next time.